how's it going guys welcome back to the channel crimson panda here so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at gelvagar now i thought gelvagar's rendering cleave ability looked kind of interested when paired with valera also with his equipment to give valera and all other characters plus five attack on a passive is quite strong so if you haven't got valera max it's going to bump her attack up quite a lot um so i thought i'd put him in a comp with valera to see how well he does and it turns out he was pretty good so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We are less than 90 subs away from the 2000 sub giveaway. So make sure you subscribe to be a part of that. Now let's head over and check out this comp. So this is the comp here. I've called it Galvagar. So our opener is going to be Galvagar, Valera and Zyrella. Now the idea behind this is we're going to use Zyrella to use Blind Illuminance to proc Valera's uh, sinister strike and unnatural smoke ability um, equipment sorry and then we're going to come in with a one speed rendering cleave with Gelvagar. and because Valera increases his speed it's always going to go before your opponent nine times out of ten unless you're against a Valera comp and lose the coin toss which is then going to give the bleed ability which against this frost comp that's kind of around there at the minute the one I posted the other day um, the bleed does 16 damage at the end of the turn which actually does so much and people forget about that once their units have um killed off a few of yours they don't really realize that the bleed is still there once galvagar has been killed so that's really interesting as well i have only maxed his first ability with his equipment because that's what i wanted to try out and um i've been winning at 10k rating so it's kind of decent um, and for the bench, we're going to be using Brucon, Malfurion, and Cookie. Um, Brucon having the buff with the Lightning Rod obviously is really good. Um, scaling the Chain Lightning in the late game is nice against Diablo and Karen. Also, we then have Malfurion obviously for his Lightroof Staff if we get behind and need some heals. And Cookie obviously there with the appetizers to try and keep Valera and Galvagar alive as long as possible. Now, one thing to note with Zarella, the Blinding Luminance obviously gives them minus 12 attack. So if you're afraid of the new Frost build, don't be, because even though he's doing masses of damage to every green, like Valera and Galvagar, because they don't take any return damage, it's they're gonna survive at least one turn. So um, let me run through the equipments with you. And that's about it for the comp. So we've got the Fury of the Frost Wolf passive with Galvagar. Valera, we have the Unnatural Smoke. Zarella, we're using an additional attack on Blind Luminance with Radiant Wand. Brucon's Chain Lightning. Malfurion's Light Roof Staff. And Cookie's Appetizers. Please like and subscribe this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. So we'll start with Zarella, Valera, and Captain Galvagar. Okay, Belinda, Valera, and Geddon. Okay. So if this attacks, it freezes something, which is going to be this, because that's what we're going to end up hitting with it, isn't it? Which is kind of a mess. 15 health is in the way with this. If we had Grom, that wouldn't be in the way. Unfortunately, it is. So we're going to have to double team with this, aren't we? Which kind of sucks. She's got Dart that's going to proc this. Okay. Well, we go first anyway. Got the bleed and take less damage from that. So that's not too bad actually. So we can't target this. This is going for 30. They're on the um, the cleaves now. This is hitting here unless we target something else. This is going to kill this at possibly zero speed. Let's go after Geddon and then hit here. Hope that works. Nice. Yep, sweet. And then we get the cleave. Oh no, we don't get the cleave that time because he acted as well. So we've got mouth. Or we can go for a chain. Mouth for heals is pretty good here. He's going to brew on us, isn't he? So if we put... Is this the positioning we want? This is going to get double hits if we put him in the middle. 
This is going to get two hits, but that's only 32. This could hit into it, could kill it. Is Galvagar's time up? I think we sacrificed Galvagar to do this. Oh, okay, he's going for the Frost now. Nice. We can't kill that. And we're going to go fast. So he's going to do quite a lot of damage to these two. We do have Brucon on the bench. If this survives, which I'm sure it will. This kills that because of our buff. And then we just go for the one speed bleed here. Okay, a lot of damage coming in. Okay, Valera did survive, but unfortunately they both died at the end. Okay, Chain Lightning. Two versus four. Don't think this is going to work out well. Okay. Nice. That was huge. So we are on the... Uh, he just concedes. Nice. That was really good. Okay. Looking like the Frost Comp opener with the 2-1-3. So we have Galvagar, Valera, and Zyrella. So Zyrella, we're kind of aiming for the Frost guy. And I believe we could get the kill off. But unfortunately, it'd be because of the bleed effect. So... Let's see if it is the frost and if we can do that. It is. 86 health. So if they're not running cookie, he dies anyway. But because they're running nature, uh, cookie in their back bench, that's why it manages to survive. He will get his attacks off, which probably mean our two fighters die. But we'll have to see if that is the case. Okay, going down to the rope. And there's the 28, 27, 15 bleed effect. Does the 8, so it doesn't actually kill it off. We're 8 out. But we do get the stealth. This could get punished. This is going to kill here, or do we cookie here? I think we just cookie there, right? Get the 10 health across the board. Okay, so we can go for a 15 here if we wanted to on Valera. Don't think we really need to. We just hit Jaina. We get the 10 health off of the cookie kill. He will get a free snap off but that's kind of good because all of us would have we would have acted before the free snap does anything anyway so we're kind of encouraging that yes it's aoe and it's a little bit more than the flurry but we're quicker next turn unfortunately don't pop the bubble yeah, he does go for the cold snap i thought so Took the bleed damage, so it did actually pop the uh, the ice block, which is huge. So we can actually kill it with this. Could even we could kill it with this for zero. Get a fish out, attack the fish, and hopefully to get a uh, get a cheeky little heal or something. We'll do that if Cookie comes down or Karen. If Karen comes down, we might do that as well. Karen. Okay. Do we want to take the twenty eight? And then punch into this. Or do we want to try for a fish? We definitely want to kill that. 
And if we go for a fish this turn, attack it. This dies. We bring out Brucon the Chain Lightning to kill this. Let's do that. Let's try and get the health. We don't want the AoE. Definitely need the health here. Ah. That's a shame. That doesn't really do anything. Right, he slowed us down, so he's going to go for a free speed AoE. So our chain lightning is three speed, so we need to kind of win that. If he puts Karen in the middle and we win that, then we get the uh, we get the kill. Did put it in the middle, so we got two speed chain lightning. Going to go bounce, 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 bounce. And this gets the, hopefully, the kill there. And we can go for a 50 over here. Might be okay. It might be too slow. This is going to AOE actually. So the 50 is never going to go through. So we'll just go for an attack. Okay, we've got the heal. He doesn't go for that. We hit there. Go stealth because we gain some life does kill it with the cold snap that's fine so we get another two speed hit there hit over here as well we'll try and kill off the Karen Diablo now I think we need to just try and start scaling the nature damage here he's got cookie on the bench Go all in on Diablo because he's going to gain health as we as we lose some units and as he loses some units. I mean, if he goes for AOE here, I don't know why he would, but if he does, we could root it next turn so he doesn't go for an attack. That seems like a waste on speed. He's going to Varden us every turn with Flurry. It's going to attack the cookie, yeah. So we have a slow cookie. Which is fine. He's going to bring a cookie out. He could go for fish AoE. These are quicker though, so I don't know why he would. Let's get 20 there. Still stack. Do we want to bleed? Bleed for 8. And it's going to be slower. I think we do. We have to be careful of that cold snap at 6 speed, which might kill something and freeze us out. I mean, he could Vard in our cookie here, because we're slow as hell with him. And prevent the bleed. And then we don't take slow damage next turn, that gives us a huge advantage. For another chain lightning bounce. Plus it's a scale chain lightning, so that's really good. That's 26. 13. Could have gone for a 13 with Cookie actually and killed the Diablo. Old Snappy did go for just for extra damage. We bleed 11. Cookie gets a snipe. Gives us some health. Malfurion hits Cookie. I kind of want to kill Cookie first. I mean after Diablo because if we kill Cookie then... The Varden doesn't like freeze us out and we just struggle trying to keep up. So here we get the extra health straight away. We get a heal. And then we get a big AoE and more heals. So I think we just win this here. Okay, so Cookie kills. All so much damage as well with the double nature buff. Boom. Killed. Killed. 